So I think he had something else he had to do today. Okay, I'll wait for you to. This meeting is being recorded. He is now joining. You ready? Okay. Welcome, everybody. Hello. Welcome. We need a motion to approve the agenda. Make a motion to approve the agenda. I'll second that. All in favor say aye. 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 Next on the agenda is public comment. So anybody that wants to address the board, feel free to come on up and address the board. Where you want me? I don't care. If the camera ain't on, it doesn't really matter. You can have a chair, whatever you want to do. He is now joining. Thanks, Chuck. Yeah. All right. Um, Nick Ryan, 1851, 260th Street, Oskaloosa. Um, first, uh, I just want to read some remarks from one of the side A landowners, uh, Jack Rempe. This is from Jack. I feel the DOT should not grant annexation to the city of Oskaloosa. The current infrastructure that needs addressed now are road repair and sewer, not new projects. Uh, no new projects should be added at this time. How many businesses are looking to move here? With currently not enough people to fill the jobs we have now, I don't see that happening. Uh, the fact that 220th Street, a farm to market road, can't be closed without major safety concerns puts more stress on an already crowded 163. By now you know the city of Oskaloosa voters get it. They voted this project down. Current supervisors get it. They're out. The Iowa Supreme Court gets it. Uh, they understand this is strictly a want and not a need. Uh, Dave Swenson, ISU economist, gets it. He says there's no need for an airport now in this region. I just don't understand why Oskaloosa and Pella cannot get it. They both have airports that service their needs with Atoma, Grinnell, Newton, Knoxville, and Des Moines in close proximity if the need is there for a bigger airport. The DOT knows land use is very important. This 600 plus acres has supported many families, some for over 110 plus years. Taxes have been paid, hundreds of thousands of dollars generated to feed and fuel the county, state, and nation. With that comes the promise of a new beginning, another year with another growing season to provide for a hungry world. That will not happen with the airport. Uh, if the DOT wants to help Oskaloosa, they would put a new bypass on the east side, pick up traffic on Highway 92, and take trucks off South 15th Street. The current bypass location has not been cited for the best use for truck, truck traffic through Oskaloosa, only to cater to the proposed airport site. The Supreme Court has spoken. This needs to go away. Explain to my four-year-old grandson why he cannot farm his family's century farm someday. Uh, I'll leave it with this, and that's the end of Jack's comments. My comments are, right now, the city of Oskaloosa is looking at annexing land that they purchased through an agreement that the Supreme Court ruled never should have been in place uh, to begin with. Um, I don't think that we should even be considering allowing the city to annex land that they shouldn't have bought in the first place. Um, the, you know, the whole point of our government is that it represents the will of the people. That's been made abundantly clear to everybody, to everybody, uh, and to the extent to which the Board of Supervisors can prevent this from moving forward, that's what you need to do. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, Nick. Thank you. Anybody else want to speak? Howard Westercamp, 1769 Highway 163. Oskaloosa, Iowa. I'd like to echo Jack Rempe's statements. Jack's a neighbor. We both live on the wrong side of the road. Uh, I'm out there. I'm looking forward to being in the city of Oskaloosa, or I'll have absolutely no say in what goes on. I'll get no benefits, but I will get the taxes. And that pretty much sums up the way I feel about it. They should have never bought land out there to begin with. The Supreme Court 
raised their eyebrows when they heard that they already had land bought and uh, the city was out of order. Plain and simple, I don't think we need to have a 80-20 agreement. I don't think we need to have any agreement with the city because they're not honorable people. That's it. Thanks, Howard. Anybody else? If none, moving ahead. I guess I don't, the next thing on the agenda is the 8020 annex petition. I guess I don't know what that is. Well, just to get some clarity, clarity on the 8020 has nothing to do with the county. That's a state law. And if you have 80, if you acquire by normal consent 80% of the property, then they can do whatever means that they term necessary to get the other 20%. And they don't want to get into condemnation or 2080 agreements and that type of thing. They want to negotiate with people fairly. That's the 80 20 rule. So, as far as an agreement between us and the city, it has nothing to do with that. Just a quick Go question. Nick. So I, I guess I still, I for clarity, what exactly is the 80-20 annexation petition? Because petition is a pretty specific word. So I guess my question is, what exactly is it you two are going to be voting on here momentarily? Well. Do you have a, do you have a doc? Is there, a, is there the actual petition? Or is that no, letter this is just a letter. I know nothing about a petition, I guess. It's just a letter. Of support. Uh, of support to the city. Basically, we're caught between a rock and a hard spot. There's not a thing we can do, legally. But you could potentially, right now, vote no on whatever that is. We could, but right. we need to understand that, that that's going to be a no-win situation for us. We probably will lose the 2080, the Southeast Connector, the DOT relationship with that, the bypass, on the 20, so we lose, we stand to lose an awful lot of ground with the DOT relationship if we did that. So are we being extorted by the DOT? No, are we being that. threatened to lose other viable projects if we don't go along with this, with, with this one? We're not threatened. Seems like it. That's, that's literally what you just said, is if we don't go along with this, they might yank all these other things. That sounds to me like somebody's being leveraged. So how much gamble do you want to take with the county? I want the county supervisors to represent the will of the, rural, of the residents of Mahaska County. They're trying to get it to where they understand what's going on. I think this has been going on for 15 years. Everybody understands pretty clearly what's going on. And that is the city is making a move against the rural residents and trying to force their will down other people's throats. We want to stand up against it. We want you to stand up against it. At all costs. Absolutely. We've done, we've done it up to this point to the tune of millions of dollars and every red cent was worth it. We're, 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 we're fighting for the basic foundations of what it means to live in the republic that we live in. It's, we're, we're fighting for basic fundamentals of democracy here. We all know that this is being powered by corporate interests and meanwhile everybody else is getting left in the dust. You said it, Mr. Wanders, a long time ago. We're tired of being owned. This is another step in us being owned further. And if it's all the same to you as our representatives, we prefer you put your foot down. I agree. Then on top of that, if they're going to annex to a certain point, what's to say that they're going to annex even the more in, into the rural development area? They can. I don't That's think that's possible. You want to touch on this, any Andrew? What? Yeah. Uh, certainly. So it's, it's my understanding at this point that the proposed annexation would run on 163, which is controlled right now by the DOT. Oh, the DOT uh, can request to the city uh, a voluntary annexation on that right-of-way, which would run up, uh, uh, really up to the lightning area on 163. Uh, Ultimately, um, because of the configuration of the roadway of 163, 
it falls within the definition of what's called an urbanized area. An urbanized area is one that's within the two mile uh, extended boundary of the city limit other than the city annexing. So in this case, uh, the city of Beacon actually has within its two mile extended boundary part of the um, proposed annexed uh, roadway on 163. So because of that, uh, a different process will have to occur uh, before the annexation is finalized. Uh, if the DOT uh, uh, requests uh, a voluntary annexation, uh, the city will notify the county and also most likely the city of Beacon, since it's within the two mile limit. And those entities will have to uh, come together in what's called a consultation. At the consultation, the entities will discuss whether there should be any uh, changes to the uh, proposed annexed territory. Uh, that is, is merely a recommendation, it's not binding uh, upon the city council. Uh, after certain statutory notices are sent, uh, the City Council uh, can determine whether to approve or deny the voluntary annexation. Uh, if they approve the voluntary annexation, because it's in an urbanized district, it then has to be sent to the City Development Board in Des Moines. At the Development Board, uh, they will uh, consider the application of annexation, along with the uh, voted and approved resolution uh, by the county. So, for example, uh, if the county were to vote to disapprove of the voluntary annexation, it does not prevent the annexation in and of itself. It, uh, the county does not have the ability to uh, single-handedly uh, stop a voluntary annexation. Rather, uh, it is uh, a part of the file which the City Development Board considers when reviewing a voluntary annexation. Uh, unlike, uh, well, at the city level, at the city council level, uh, there are no uh, factors or standards necessarily uh, that the uh, city council has to consider on whether to approve or to deny an annexation. However, when it gets to the city development board level, on the state level, uh, there are certain um, statutory factors it must consider in approving the application, and there are certain factors that it, it must deny the application on if present. I mean, that's what uh, 368, chapter 368 talks about. It talks about the state development board. Um, ultimately, if they approve the annexation, uh, then that, that process is finalized. In this particular case, um, it's my understanding uh, that only the roadway is being um, discussed uh, for the annexation. Uh, the, uh, the land that has been purchased, at least at this point, as far as my understanding, is not being considered um, as far as the annexation though that will probably happen at a later point. Uh, one of the uh, restrictions a city has in annexing uh, territory is that it cannot create an island, meaning that the territory has to be contiguous to each other. So just ge geographically speaking, um, uh, the city cannot directly annex the land that was purchased uh, without any <clears throat> connecting land to the city itself. Because that would create an island, which statutorily they cannot do. So there has to be a connection, uh, uh, uninterrupted connection, between the boundary of the current boundary of the city limits of Oskaloosa and the, uh, eventually the airport area. So the roadway is basically the uh, link that allows further annexation of that area. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. As far as the 8020 is being concerned, uh, I think there might be a little bit of a confusion between annexation and eminent domain, right? So 
the 80-20 rule for annexation is that as long as uh, the, the territory to be um, annexed, 80% uh, of the people in that proposed territory need to agree to the annexation, a voluntary annexation. The remaining 20% uh, can be involuntary annexation. So that's 80% agree, 20% do not. Now, in this particular case, at least in terms of the uh, 163 roadway, um, because it's all held by the Iowa DOT, uh, if they request a voluntary annexation, it would be 100% of the area, right? So there would be no involuntary annexation as to the roadway. Okay. Now, if eventually the uh, uh, purchased land is annexed, then there could potentially could be some involuntary annexation. But at this point, it's just the roadway. So that's the 80-20 that's being discussed. In terms of eminent domain, that's a little bit different situation, uh, where if a project has a, enough um, uh, of a land purchase or agreement, they can involuntarily take the remaining part of the land uh, in ownership of the land. So one, we're talking about the boundaries of the municipality and the jurisdiction of the municipality. The other is actual ownership of land, which is a little bit different. So I think where the board is at this point, um, it is, there is no necessarily legal requirement uh, for the board to issue a letter uh, at this stage of the proceedings. Uh, but I believe the DOT wants uh, to have some assurance where the county stands at least to the annexation to the, of the roadway uh, before you know, continuing down the um, annexation process. Because again, it's going to be, uh, e even if the city council approves, which I imagine they would, the annexation is still going to go to the development board. It's going to be a lot of process that's still down the road. So I think the DOT just wants to kind of get an idea of where the county is at this point, because it's going to be a lot of steps kind of going forward. You see, yeah. rather the county's going to fight it or not. Uh, yes, and, and again, the county unilaterally cannot stop annexation. Right. Right? You, right. The only thing the county can do is lodge a formal objection through the passage of a resolution, which would then be considered. Uh, by the city development board, but that doesn't mean it still will go through. Right. I'm not saying that. It's just uh, it's considered as part of the file. Mm -hmm. So, have you ever seen like a highway used to annex before? I mean, does this set a precedence to what can come in the future? Well, I mean, any any landowner, including uh, a state landowner, uh, can request a voluntary annexation. Okay. Uh, I think in this particular case, uh, the uh, it's a little bit unusual just to annex the right-of-way and not the land surrounding it. Uh, because typically in an annexation, you're looking at provide substantial municipal services to the area being annexed, right? I mean, so it is somewhat uh, unusual just to annex a road, uh, though, I mean, the city could provide, you know, plowing or whatever services for the roadway, you know, uh, that, you know, otherwise would be provided by another entity. So they, they would have some obligation to maintain the, uh, the roadway that they're annexed. Uh, but I think ultimately uh, it's a, it's a multi-stage process, again, because the city can't create an island. So there's going to have to be a connection. And unless they you know, annex a two-mile swath of the county, the only way to connect it up is, or the easiest or most uh, straightforward way to connect up the, the airport land that's been purchased in the city of Oskaloosa is using the roadway as that link to avoid an island. And the DOT is allowed that. Uh, it, well, and the DOT can request a voluntary annexation right. of what it has. Right. Yes. Right. So, can I, can, Andrew, can I ask you a question, sir? Uh, well, it's such yeah. a board. Yeah, yeah fine board. with me. I mean, that's why we're here, I guess. Um, so where we're at now, I just want to make sure I understand this correctly. The, the board with the item that's on the agenda here can either support moving forward with an 80-20 annexation, and we're talking just the roadway, right? Uh, but the, the board has a choice, whether they're going to support this moving forward and indicate that support, or oppose this moving forward and indicate the opposition. Am I understanding that correctly, sir? Uh, it's my understanding that the DOT is requesting um, clarification 
as to whether the county is supporting or not, or, or taking no position, I guess, they can support, take no position, or uh, resist that voluntary annexation. Uh, because, again, uh, if that process starts, the county does have um, a role in uh, lodging an objection, which, again, they can't unilaterally stop, but they can lodge an objection to it. So there, so there is the option, you know, just moving forward is not the only option. The county, the board does have the option of expressing its opposition, correct? Uh, That's an option, correct? Uh, that, that is an option. Okay. Uh, That's, um, if, I, if I may, um, it, I, would, I, would, I would suggest to the board, especially since there's an initiative, uh, an, an initiative on the table with the city that directly relates to this stuff. Is there any way to just table this particular matter un for, uh, until that can be resolved? And also the other thing I'd like to point out is we're missing one board of supervisor. I think this is important stuff and all three supervisors' votes should be recorded for this. Um, you know, I think that this is obviously a contentious issue. There's other things in play that are probably, that are gonna get sorted out uh, around 5 p.m. today uh, at a special city council meeting. Um, uh, that, would, that would be uh, my suggestion slash request to you two today. Is there any way we can put a pin in this and table it to a further time? I guess I don't, I know the DOT is gonna meet with the city council or city people tomorrow or no Monday, excuse me. And that's why the meeting today at Friday to have some sort of decision drawn up so that they have that for Monday. <coughs> so I'm not sure. I guess I'm not aware of what's going on at the city tonight, but. Uh, no, I'm not sure. I got another question for Andrew. Mm -hmm. If they annex that road, the city, do they own that road then? Uh, no, they wouldn't necessarily own the, the road, okay. uh, but they would have to provide uh, municipal services to that area. Um, just like, you know, let's say the city wanted to expand northward, like toward New Sharon, in that area, hypothetically. Uh, if they did so annex, um, the, the landowners would still own title to the land. You know, that wouldn't yeah, change. No. It's just that now the landowners would have to pay city taxes and... and on the opposite side of the table, the city would have to provide municipal services to that area. So in this case, the land would still be owned by the DOT, unless they were to sell it in some transaction. Okay. But the um, city would now be obligated, at, because it's part of the city, uh, city limits, to provide services to, to that area. So, you know, for example, hypothetically, if there was a car crash on that roadway, uh, then you know, the city police would respond because it's, it's in city limits, okay. for example. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I was just trying to figure out going forward where this starts and stops and what it looks like, I guess. so. Uh, yeah, annexation and eminent domain are, are really separate. Right. Um, uh, the two, they, they can be related if in a, in a given project, but just because you annex something doesn't necessarily mean you're going to uh, exercise eminent domain. However, can't exercise eminent domain if you don't have that uh, land under your control. Uh, right. In the city limit, you see. Yeah. That's why, for example, the city couldn't use eminent domain for the land it's purchased or the area around the land it's purchased now because it's not within the boundary of their territory. You see what I'm saying? So you, you have to have annexation before eminent domain, uh, but, you, uh, but the opposite isn't true. Yeah. You can't just have eminent domain without annexation. There's some, there's some questions as far as how they connect because the, uh, the uh, right of way has got to touch the land that's being acquired. Uh, yes, yeah, so there are, again, uh, uh, certain statutory requirements for annexation, and one of those is that you cannot create an island. Uh, I mean, that's 100% that's clear. It's going to be denied all the way up and down to create an island. So the only way you have to connect in some manner the airport area, assuming that's going to be annexed, okay. that airport area with the city. So it could be a you know, small sliver as a road would provide. It could be the you know, swath, you know, a two mile swath of, of country ground to get there. But in some manner, you have to connect those two pieces. The Van Hooklum farm is what connects it. Uh, well, I think. That's what connects it. 
For these uh, guys that live out there, that's what connects it. Yeah, yeah, whatever whatever the area they have purchased and the area around it, yeah. uh, it has to connect with this, the city of Oskaloosa, so that roadway would provide the link in order to pursue a, uh, a later annexation. And I would just highlight, too, that there is a little bit different process uh, depending on whether it's an urbanized district or not. Like I mentioned, this roadway, uh, because of the city of Beacon, it's within that true amount of limits. That's why it's going to the city development board, right? Uh, but the airport itself, uh, if that was annexed at a later point and contiguous to the land they already have now, that would not go through the city development board because that is a, not an urbanized district. Okay. So that annexation, would, that ultimate decision for annexation would rest in the city council, but wouldn't have further review mm -hmm. uh, by a, a state agency. You see what I'm saying? Correct. So basically this resolution that we're doing today just says we're not for or against, we're just, we're just neutral. Well, I mean, yeah, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a pure policy decision by the board. I mean, uh, you, you can approve, take no position, or uh, resist uh, the annexation. Um, I mean, it's for the board to you know, weigh the various public policy positions of, of any one of those options. Um, you know, it, if the, even if the board uh, resists the uh, annexation, uh, it still may go through anyways, like I said before. Right. It doesn't necessarily mean it won't happen. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and I, there also could be costs, which I think Chuck kind of mentioned in terms of uh, relationships with other entities, mm -hmm. DOT, yep. hospitals, or whatever. Right. Um, and I'm not taking a position one way or the other. I'm just saying that there's no, there's no um, free lunch, so to speak. I mean, any option is going to have, uh, I don't say drawbacks, but... Um, Potential ramifications yeah. beyond the roadway itself. Yeah, and Chuck so, mentioned the Southeast Connector we've been trying for 40 years to get. And, yeah, I um, just feel like I've had enough questions asked and, and confrontations with powers to be that we're not going to stop it. And then we got to look at then look at the penalty that's going to happen if we throw this nasty letter at the DOT that would indicate that the county's not willing to work with you, which is essentially what they've asked for. I'm not sure. I'm not sure I'm willing to give up the gains for what looks like about 90% sure we ain't going to accomplish what we want. Uh, yeah, I think it's it's very uncertain. That's um, my, my thoughts. Yeah, I, I would say it's very uncertain um, it, how much effect the county res or the county resisting the annexation would have at the end of the day. Right. Sounds I mean, like at the end of the day. It's not your decision. No. It's a decision of the city council and then to be reviewed by the city developer. The review the board. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're going to have to meet certain statutory criteria right. Right. in order to uh, approve or deny it. So, uh, again, that's just a weighing balance the board has to, to consider, mm -hmm. you know, as it looks towards you know, other projects or other relationships, or, you know, other uh, ramifications. I mean, the concerns I had was, number one, landowners get properly... Uh, financed, uh, uh, compensated for the land, mm -hmm. number one. Number two, 220th Street is a farm to market road, and that somehow that has to be dealt with out there. Mm -hmm. Then after that, I don't see that we got much leg to stand on to change the flow of this. Well, uh, as yeah. much as we'd like to think so. Uh, yeah, yeah, I would say, yeah. Uh, you don't have the... Mm, well, even even in the eminent domain situation, I mean, if it's within the boundaries of Oskaloosa, the area that's being considered, you couldn't go in and stop the city, for example, from exercising eminent domain over something in its territory. Right. In like manner, uh, uh, you know, the power of the county to have eminent domain, uh, the city can't control that. That's right. somewhat mm -hmm. what the Supreme right. Court said, right? right. So. You know, annexation is a step in the process of uh, eminent domain if that's right. ultimately going to happen. Right, right. So, at the end of the day, right, that's the that's the purpose of all of this, is this is the pathway for the city to get the eminent domain authority it needs to move forward with the project that's been rammed down our throats from, uh, from the jump. That's the only purpose of the annexation, is to pave the way for the city to be able to acquire the eminent domain authority on its own. 
I, it's like they think we're stupid. We're not. We see what's going on. And we have the opportunity to voice our opposition to this. You, as our representatives, should reflect that. I understand, Chuck, what you're saying. I, I get it. I don't want to lose those relationships either. But we're, like you said a long time ago, Wanders, we're tired of being owned. We've been owned by the city. Now we're owned by the DOT. I hardly think so. Um, the, the, the residents of Mahaska County need to be heard on this. You guys as our supervisors, it's your job to make that voice heard. And I hope you do that today. But I really don't understand with what Andrew's telling me how I make my voice heard, because they're going to do it anyway. <laughs> Look, that's, it, that's irrelevant. We have the opportunity, you guys have the opportunity right here to say, yes, we agree with this, or no, we don't. And the, the answer to that question should be abundantly clear, no, we don't. Once and for the DOT to say, well, if you don't do this, we won't do this other good idea, that is words I'm not going to use in this room. Once, if they decide to annex the rest of the airport ground, 220th will be the city's, right? Uh, well, because well, I'm not privy to exactly what future plans could hold. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, as long as it's contiguous, meaning connecting to, uh, let's, let's say, assume the road is, is annexed, assume that. Uh, they can uh, then annex anything in that unincorporated area, including 220th, mm -hmm. uh, if they so chose. Okay. Um, now, that being said, I believe that there are plans to reroute that traffic. And again, I'm not privy to exactly how it's going to look. But I, I do know that that is being um, uh, considered the impact on 220th if the city does ultimately take control of that area. Right? Um, I know that's been an ongoing concern of as far as rerouting farm traffic on 163. But ultimately, it'd be up to the, the city. Right. It would be a city road at that point. Yeah. That's a concern I have with all this, is no future, you know, what the plans look like for 220th, because that's been my biggest fight the whole time. That question should have been, they should have had the answer to that question a long time ago. Without documentation on a proposal for that, how can you vote to go along with it? You don't know what you're agreeing to if you agree here today with the road. You're just playing their game. We Both of you guys were voted because we thought you wouldn't do that. That's the reason both of you are sitting there. Is that every resident of the county thought that you would not do that? I would really hate for today to be the day you start proving us wrong. Yeah, I don't. I've spent a lot of time the last day and a half asking questions that I thought were pertinent to this. You can always put a pin in it. You can always table it, guys. You don't have to. You don't have to yeah. make a decision today. What do you want to do? We can table it until Mark comes back. We'll okay. have to have another meeting like Monday morning. We can. I don't care. So if they, got, guess, I just... so if they got that, that meeting at the, at the DOT on Monday afternoon. I think long term, it probably ain't going to make a whole lot of difference. It ain't going to make any difference. Uh, mm -hmm. If you want to do that, that's fine. We can table it, I guess. So, so we, we can table it until Monday. But we'll have set a meeting up for Monday We'll just morning. see what works for Mark on Monday. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, an, it's an important issue and probably needs to it have is. all three of us. Well, I just want everybody's quick. I just want everybody to understand what's going on. But I just don't want to fight to be fighting if we can't make a difference. And we're not so, willing to throw everything that we've gained with the DOT out. Because once. Window. I think that might require a separate to, conversation. I don't think that yeah. tactic is even remotely appropriate to say if you don't go along with this, we're going to yank the Southeast Convention. Uh, you right? don't have any idea. So, my I mean, biggest, this know. is my biggest problem with fighting it too much. I want 220th taken care of. I don't want gates on it. I don't want it to be a gated road where just farm equipment has to get out, open and shut the gates on both ends of it like they had in the plan. We give the city a plan to reroute, rework 235th when the new bypass comes in so we have an overpass over it. 
So we don't have farm traffic even trying to cross 163. And if we start fighting them, we're going to lose all that. Yeah. Well, and they're so going to win anyway. But, but we're going we're gonna to have a, a, bat, a worse situation with farm traffic on 163. Just for context for you guys so that you know what's going on, there's currently an initiative before the city that would, if it, if it goes through, if it ends up on the ballot and the voters vote for it, it would affect the city's withdrawal from the 2080 agreement, then all this annexation becomes unnecessary anyway. And so that's what that means. They're going to try to repeal initiative and referendum. I don't believe they can do that retroactively. Correct me, Andrew, if I'm wrong. Um, but I don't believe they can do that to an initiative that's already been submitted before they change the ordinance. So if, um, th that process has started. Uh, if the signatures are collected, it has to go to the ballot in November. And if the citizens of Oskaloosa vote in favor of that initiative, there is no 2080. There is no reason to annex anything. Also, the city will be required to sell off its interest in any property related to, to the South Central Regional Airport. In which case, we don't even need to discuss annex. Just go right to discussing our other transportation projects the way that it should have been all along. And that's on the city council meeting tonight. Uh, so the, the initiative what, what, has been uh, presented and accepted what, 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 by the city. Tonight, the city is going to try and actually repeal the entirety of its initiative and referendum section from the city charter so that they don't have to follow through. Uh, I don't believe they can do that retroactively. I guess we'll find out. Um, but uh, that initiative is before the city, and if they follow the law, which I understand they haven't been inclined to in the past, uh, but if they do, that will have to go to the voters in November. So you guys are okay now. Uh, part of the process here is we're trying to develop a residential improvements out there in the industrial park um, to defray from raising taxes in the future in the county. Who's coming? So there's a possibility. Are you okay with raising taxes then? Paying more taxes? in the county sure sure Be because we don't have the growth that we're trying to put in place i think we need a better plan for the growth i like i've seen i've i've seen some i've seen some of the plans and it looks all good but i nobody's been able to explain to me who's coming or who has the intent. you probably need to run, the, run for office right yeah yeah you um, need to run for office <laughs> so that you're so that you're sitting at the table Well, I did almost, and then you convinced me not to, Chuck, remember? And did I? And did I do that? And then Chuck said, no, I'll do it. So I you'll tried, get your, and then you and I spoke on the phone, You're Chuck, kind of a younger than I am. You'll get your chance. You'll wondering. get your chance, Nick. So if you want to take us, That's a step back and guys. sit in that seat, yeah. I'll be happy to. So you want to table this till Monday, till Mark can be here? I think that's what we probably ought to do. Okay. What is table till Monday? Chuck, and you better put an announcement. Oh, motion, second, vote. Yeah. I make a motion with table until Monday. Second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Beautiful. Thank you, guys. We'll table until Monday. So that way we're all three here. Next thing on. We meet here at 8.30 on Monday. So we just, Terry, Terry can just make a notice right now. Yeah, it's fine. 8.30 Monday morning. 8.30? Mm-hmm. So the public hearing was on this amendment, right? Yeah, the budget so. amendment. The budget amendments. Oh, the budget, yeah. I need a Setting up the time for the budget. Okay. So you want May 22nd at 9? Mm -hmm. I make a motion we set a public hearing for May 22nd Second at 9. Second mm -hmm. Motion, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Approve uh, alcohol license for highway liquor and tobacco. I think there's some questions we need to have asked before we can authorize that. So we'll table that till the next meeting also. Yes, sir. Um, so the owner is on the line. He, if he wants to, I don't know if you want to open up to for him to explain what he's doing. Okay, go ahead. It'll be fine. Yes, sir. Uh, so I'm opening this door right in front of the motel. So there is a, like, an extra space area right the front side of the motel. And I renovated already, like, from inside. It's not a big, like, but it's a small kind of a tea store with tobacco and liquor in it. So you just want to open a small store in the front of your hotel out there by the pepper tree, the, the old pepper tree? Yes, sir. I still would like to table it till next meeting since we have one person missing. 
So May 15th will be the next meeting, I think. At what time we can make a decision on it. Okay, you want to research it a little more? Yeah, we'll research it some more. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're just going to table it till May 15th. Okay. Thank you. Any more comment? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, any more comments? We always have public comments at the end, too. If not, I make a motion, we adjourn. Second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye.